I'm going to do some Charleston modeling for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. The first half of every American Mahjong game is something called the Charleston, where you pass unwanted tiles up to seven times. There are some strategies involved, and it can get a little hairy. That's why I like to practice. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try. It'll definitely increase your confidence level with your decision making if you practice. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine which player we are. I rolled a seven, so we're going to be player three. You just count around the table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a couple of jokers, a flower, dragon, wind, singles. We have cracks, singles, five, six, seven, singles, one, three, seven, singles, no multiples. We have this as a silver lining. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on consecutive run five through seven or big odds five, seven, nine. There is a big odd hand five, seven, seven, nine dragon. So I think I would hold the dragon and this is not a bad pass. We've got a six. That's consecutive. We have a wind and a white dragon. White dragon. We have two jokers. I wouldn't play a pair hand because we do have five, six, five, six and a dragon. You'd think, well, why not play the pair hand? We'd have to throw away two jokers. I would not do that. I would use these jokers. So I wouldn't pass the white dragon though. I would try to use it. We have all the sevens. Maybe play like numbers with sevens. Maybe like numbers with dragons or like numbers with the flower. Or we could play five, six, seven with sixes, six, seven, six, seven with flowers. We could still do five, seven, let's see, seven, nine, dragon, six, seven, six, seven, five, seven, seven, nine, dragon. I think I would give up that drag. Well, no, I don't think I would give up the dragon. Five, six, seven, or five, seven, seven, nine, dragon. The five, seven, seven, nine, dragon has a gap. Six, seven, six, seven. I think it, let's give up the seven bam because we could still play five, seven, seven, nine dragon or six, seven, six, seven consecutive run second from the bottom. We could even still play maybe like numbers and recover one tile. Or we could keep the seven and give up on the dragons. Let's do that. I want to keep the sevens. We got a five. Five, six, seven, five, six. Let's see, two, three. I don't think those are going to be helpful. Five, seven, 
seven nine seven nine There is a concealed hand, five, six, seven with sixes. This would be under consecutive run. Let's give up the seven. We've got a seven. Oh, we got the green, a green dragon, seven, five, Okay, now five, six, five, six. There's potential there now. Five, seven, seven, nine, dragon. Fives. Let's give up the dragon. Five, six, five, six. We're at a place where we have like numbers and dragons. This is getting a bit risky. Let's see. I think I would give up the dragon at this point. I wouldn't stop the Charleston. We do not have a strong enough hand to stop the Charleston. We went right across left. We could stop the Charleston and not pass this, but this is a really weak hand, I think, at this point. We do not have any gaps, but we have only one multiple. I would keep going. Let's risk it. There's a seven. We keep getting sevens. Here's a four. Four, five, six, seven, or five, six, seven. That's pretty strong right there. Two multiples. Five, six, seven, one suit Kongs. Third hand down under consecutive run. So let's pass one of each suit. Okay. Three, four. Three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. We might even be able to play a quint. There's the first hand under quints. Let's discard these. Focus on one suit. No keepers here. Let's do optional cross. See if we can get anything back that we passed reluctantly. We got a five. I think I would give it up though and focus on one suit. Probably a quint. Four, five, six, seven. Pair, pung, kong, quint. Or five, six, seven Kongs. Third hand down under consecutive run. I rolled a six for this next one. So two, four, six were player two. We almost have news. Single bams. We have five dots with a pair and a four six with cracks. If these were your dealt tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? I think what I would focus on is either three six nine 
or three, four. We have threes and fours, but we also have some three, six, nine potential. There's three, six, nine, and we have two fours. We even have some one, three, five potential, but I've tried not to pass two wins at the same time. So maybe give something up here. Three, six, nine potential. Three, four potential. Let's keep the dot and pass the four. These three. So either one, three, five or three, six, nine. Maybe three, four. There's a four. We got a four. Here's a nine though. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine potential. There's a dragon. I don't think there's any mixed suit dragon hands. Well, there's something knitted. Three, six, nine. Here we go. Three, six, nine knitted. Third hand down under three, six, nine. Knitted is when you have two suits with a matching dragon for the tile in the middle. So we have suit one, suit two, suit one, matching dragon with suit two. That's called knitted. Maybe give up a one. Focus on three, six, nine, or maybe one, three, five. Let's pass these three. Three, six, nine. This is why you don't want to pass like numbers. Let's focus on three, six, nine. Maybe a pair hand. Three, six, nine pair hand. That would be fifth hand down under singles and pairs. Let's pass these three. Six. Red. Pair of Souths. We did right across left. So let's just see what we have here. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine knitted. Or three, six, nine pair hand. Either way, we didn't use the nine crack. I think we should continue the Charleston and pick a hand because we're between hands. If you're between hands, don't stop the Charleston, pick a hand. So if we play a pair hand, we have a gap, no flowers. If we play three, six, nine knitted, we have no gaps. We could do three, six, nine with dots or three, six, nine with bams. Let's give up the six bam and pass these three and keep going. We got a pair. We're going to break that up. We got a flower and a six. So we're kind of in between here. We have two tiles to pass. Three, six, nine. Or we could play three, six, nine mixed suit Kongs. That would be the fourth hand down. three nine or three nine we could still maybe even do the pair hand but I don't think I would do the pair hand I think what I would do here is pass fully and pick one of these to pass on three six nine or three six nine knitted or three six nine consecutive or not consecutive but mixed suit Kongs Let's keep the three and use this for plan B. Three, six, nine, red, and pass these three. No keepers. That is a pretty risky pass. 
We could do 369 and use that as joker bait, break this up and pass safely. Or we could keep our options open and risk it. I think I would do that. We're close enough to risk that pass. We got nines back. Look at that. Maybe we could play that pair hand. All three, six, nine potential here. Three, six, nine with reds. Three, six, nine with reds, either bams or dots. Or we could do maybe the three, six, nine pair hand or three, six, nine consecutive it's not consecutive. Mix suit Kongs. I keep wanting to say consecutive. These are clearly not consecutive. So that, that would then leave this for Joker Bait if we did the pair hand or 369 Mix suit Kongs. I said it right that time. So we have one discard. That was kind of a fun one. It was a little complex though, which is why I like to practice. The Charleston is the first half of every American Mahjong game. If you make the right decisions at the right time, you can set yourself up for success for the next phase of the game when you pick and discard one tile at a time. So train yourself to make smart decisions during the Charleston. Build around multiples if you have them. Otherwise, build around the predominant pattern. If a multiple forms, start there, reassess completely building around the multiple. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston modeling for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.